Okay, guys. Um, this is the valve body modification process. I did end up having to do this one because I didn't have the one with the recess and all of the other springs. This wants you to install new steel plugs, but I don't have any of those and the kit doesn't come with any, so I'm not sure what they're getting at here. At least I don't, I've used up all the parts that came in that kit, so not sure what they want you to do there aside from sourcing these from somewhere else. Anyhow, uh, I cleaned this whole valve body up with some uh, Dawn dishwashing soap and a toothbrush. And there was a few metal flakes like in a, a little pocket right here. But I don't think that that went anywhere. That Maybe that's just like a, a reserve pocket or something like that. But uh, I'm going to make an attempt to try and put this back together. Oh, the other thing we had to do was one of these holes had to be enlarged on here. And it was this one, if I remember right. So this is the separator plate. All of the other holes matched up to that drill bit, except for that one. So I had to enlarge that one. And now I am going to make an attempt to put this back together without all the pieces flying everywhere. All right, guys, uh, we got the uh, valve body put back together. It's been modified. Um, just waiting on that brake band to get here, so can I get I can get that drum supported. Then I can attach this entire valve body package with the brand new Nissan solenoids. Uh, it's ready to go. It's ready to buckle into that transmission case. And uh, then we're moving on to 
the servo and the accumulators. We've got to get those put in before we put this on. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Got the servo sitting over there. It's going to need some new seals on it. Um, I may or may not have to modify the spring inside the accumulator. Um, or the servo or I think that's the main let's see here yeah so for the Isuzu ones I guess you reuse the original spring so there's no need to modify that I think we're pretty much getting close to the end of this modification here Here's the, um, this is the Nissan one. It looks like you use that accumulator spring upgrade and use those two springs, which I don't have to do. So, uh, what else? I think that's probably going to be it. This was a, uh, learning experience for me and I'm glad I had all the technical manuals and paperwork otherwise I would have never figured out how to put this back together. I also mistakenly grabbed the I use cups to pull the bolts when I pull bolts I stick them on the cups so I had two cups of valve body bolts from this one and the one that's over there so yeah, that kind of confused me. I was like, where in the heck are all these extra bolts coming from? But Anyhow, uh, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I got some more parts showing up this week and next week. And I'm going to show you how we're going to redo the transmission cooler. which they mention says on uh, number six here even with a new radiator this trans does not have enough cooling and it stops up way too easy I always add a multi-tube cooler and forget the radiator so we're gonna do just that we're gonna put a multi-tube cooler on there that's got a fan and a thermostat on it and I think I've got room in the transmission tunnel to mount that so that's what I'm hoping for other than that, hope you guys are staying safe. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.